Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you all the different ways you can mount and also connect your FTEZ ID. Now for this video, we're gonna be using the FTEZ ID and we're also gonna be using the optional pigtails that you can get that enable you to go to battery voltage, the balance lead, or your receiver port. Couple things to know about your FTEZ ID, this is reverse polarity protected. So don't worry if God forbid you plug something in backwards, whether it's in your battery lead or your servo port, you're not gonna hurt a thing. Now, there's many different ways to mount your FTEZ ID, and we also offer free STLs for this little case that you see here. Now, as different cases are designed, we're gonna be adding those to the store for you to be able to use freely. If you want the protection of a case and you don't have a 3D printer, we also have these cases available in our store. These cases simply just press in with a click, then you take your cover, and you snap it on. The little LED that goes from red to green is easily visible through this, and your connector is also easily accessible. This case is a wonderful feature because it makes it super easy to put things like Velcro or hot glue right on the bottom. The way that we're gonna power the FTEZ ID is gonna be through these three connector pigtails. On one end of each connector, you're gonna see the PH2 connector, and on the following end, you're gonna see either the JR connector, our battery lead JST, or our balance lead connector. Let's go ahead and first start with one of the easiest ways to be able to mount this using something as simple as an extra servo extension and our servo lead connector. Taking the PH2, we're gonna plug in our connector. And this other end can easily go to a servo lead. Now you could plug this directly right into your receiver, but oftentimes your receiver is buried deep inside the plane. Using an extra extension like what you see here easily gives you the ability to run that extension to wherever you want to be able to mount your FTEZ ID. And that way, when you go to swap from one plane to the other, you don't have to dig into your airplane. You can simply unplug it from the connector and then move this whole unit to another one. This gives you the ability to quickly, in a matter of seconds, in a piece of Velcro, go from plane to plane to plane. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. One thing I've done is I've disabled these motors here just so I can demonstrate. Anytime that you're powering on and off your plane, especially without your radio being on, make sure you disable your motors. I'm just gonna go to an extra servo port here. I'm gonna plug it in, making sure my ground and my signal wire line up with the other ground and signal wires. Your ground wire is either gonna be brown or black. Now that we've done that, I can go ahead and trace my FTEZ ID. I'll we'll just put it right at the very top here. And now we can make our connection. I'm simply gonna take a piece of Velcro here. In this case, I'll just take fuzzy, mainly because this may travel around in my pocket and I don't wanna pick up any kind of lint. And I'm gonna stick it right on the bottom. We can put this inside the airplane or if we wanna get the best reception possible, we can always mount it right on the very top. We got the fuzzy on the module. I'll go ahead and put the prickly here. And we're all set. At this point, let's go ahead and test our connection here. I'm just gonna go ahead and power this up. You're gonna see immediately through the little indicator that our red light is done. The first time that you start this up, it could take upwards of two minutes to be able to actually grab the GPS location. But once you repower up in that similar location, it'll take as little as 30 seconds. Now, for some reason, your red LED did not light up. Check the polarity of your receiver and make sure that you plugged your servo extension in properly. And it's green, we're ready to go fly. Let's go ahead and unplug this, and next we'll show you how you can easily mount the FTEZ ID to the top of your battery and utilize the power from your balance lead. Your balance lead connector looks a lot like a servo connector, but you're gonna see two pins sticking out of it. This is where the reverse polarity is really, really important because all we need to do is we simply need to plug this in. I already have some Velcro right on top of my battery, and I can stick it on like that, and then I'm gonna go to my balance lead. Oftentimes the balance lead will have one black wire followed with a whole bunch of red or one red wire followed with a whole bunch of black. All we need to do is make sure we get in the general orientation and we can plug it to any of these leads that we want. If we plug it in backwards, there's not gonna be any magic smoke. It's just simply not gonna light up. So we can reverse that over and plug it in. This balance lead is only grabbing from two of the cells. So keep in mind, if you do leave this alone, although it only consumes about 10 milliwatts of power, it will cause your batteries to go out of balance. All we would need to do at this point now 
is we can either Velcro this into the plane or we can actually just leave it right on top of the battery. And you can see we already got our signal and then we can make our connection. And as you can see, the second time that we powered this up, it was less than 30 seconds and we had our GPS signal. Our final way that we can connect our FTEZ ID is through direct battery voltage. Now, if you have one of our FTESCs, you're gonna see a little red pigtail right at the very end of it. This is direct battery voltage out. All we need to do is take our JST pigtail, which is included in our optional connector kit. We're gonna plug it right into the ESC. I'm just gonna choose one of these ESCs. And then we'll make our connection to the PH2 connector. And at this point, we could stick it on like this. We could route it inside the fuselage. We could do anything we wanna do. This is especially handy if you have a power pod and maybe you have extra real estate where your battery's on the bottom, you have your ESC on the top, and then all you simply need to do is plug your JST lead right into it. One thing I did wanna show you is our early version one ESCs have a PH2 connector. This is actually usable, but the polarity is reversed, which means what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into the back here, lift up the pins, and change the direction. You'll be able to plug this directly into your FTEZ ID with no additional connectors. All right, so we have our connection. Let's go ahead and we'll power this up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my little balance lead here. There we go. And we're now drawing direct battery voltage. In this case, it's 4S. We can go all the way up to 8S with this model and we're getting our voltage. And any second now, it's gonna be grabbing our GPS signal. And there we go. And as you can see, there's many different ways to mount and power your FTEZ ID. Our goal is for you to easily be able to take this from model to model to model quickly and efficiently so you don't have to buy more than just one. Our passion is to be able to grow the hobby, help you comply, but we are strictly free at first. We want you guys to be able to enjoy the hobby without the extra burden of any extra components like the FTEZ ID. Friends, I want to thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Please check out our other videos in the playlist because we're going to be showing you some really cool other features like Find My Plane.